morning, greetings, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality, and well-being into addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment to moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you. We want to be your go-to nutritional resource, your go-to health resource, especially if you're dealing with a long-term health challenge or a loved one is dealing with a a long-term health challenge, Alzheimer's disease, diabetes, cancer, skin health issues, autoimmune diseases. Folks, there's a nutritional solution for everything because the human body has evolved to be a healing system. We are, our bodies are the end result of millions, perhaps hundreds of millions of years of refining and fine tuning via the evolutionary process. Our bodies are designed to heal. Our bodies are designed to be healthy. Our bodies are designed to withstand a certain amount of ups and downs and highs and lows and shortages and deficiencies via a a biological mechanism called homeostasis. Homeostasis is the guarantee that the human body provides us that it is able to handle life, that it is able to handle existence without suffering from disease. Yet we have a chronic, degenerative, long-term, so-called incurable disease crisis that accounts for 80% of our health challenges and health costs and deaths. Nearly 80%, 70, somewhere between 70 and 80% of deaths are due to chronic long-term degenerative diseases that the body has evolved to handle. But we got to know what it's do. We got to know how to do it. We got to know how to help it do it. We don't even have to know how to do it. We got to know how to help the body do it. And that's what this is all. That's what this program is all about. 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, the longevity business, the longevity formulations, or any health cha- uh, any health issues that you want clarification on, of course, if you have a success story you'd like to share, or if you just want to comment on the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of my Truth Skin Health formulations, retinol 5% gel, Truth Serum, Truth Balm, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, all vitamin C rich, Truth Retinol 5% gel is made with the highest amount of retinol you're going to find anywhere. Truth 5% retinol gel if you're dealing with age spots or acne blemishes or accelerated aging. They're all, all my Truth Skin Health products are designed to drive the production of the connective tissue in the skin, and that's what it's all about when it comes to beauty, when it comes to health. And of course, when it comes to skincare, there is no such thing as a skincare product that can actually do work without affecting connective tissue. And there's only two ingredients that can do that, and that's vitamin C and vitamin A. You can find out all about our Truth Skin Health products. Never any preservatives, fragrances, oils, silicones, wax, water, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in our Truth Skin Health products. TruthTreatments.com. TruthTreatments.com. All right, so we've been talking connective tissue, and for good reason. The key to understanding the mystery of disease and how to restore a diseased body to health is in in revealing the underlying features, the underlying factors, the unifying factors of all disease. What is it that all chronic degenerative disease has in common? If we can figure out what all chronic degenerative diseases have in common, this will give us a major clue to how disease develops and how it takes shape. For one thing, 
what we talk about all the time on the bright side is there's no such thing as a chronic degenerative disease without an underlying digestive condition. And depending on the severity of your chronic degenerative disease, your autoimmune disease, your cancer, your, your heart disease, whatever it is, depending on the severity, this digestive connection will be more or less dramatic. You may not know it's there because there's something about the brain that turns things down, that turns the volume down on events that happen all the time. It's like when you go into a concert and you're listening to music. You go into a bar and there's a band playing. They're playing really loud. At first, it's really, really loud. It's almost hard to listen to. But then over time, there's something about the brain that turns the volume down. So it doesn't sound as loud anymore. I remember when I was growing up in New York, we lived, uh, I lived near Kennedy Airport. And my high school was maybe five miles from Kennedy Airport. And so every 15 or 20 minutes, there'd be a plane, a loud plane flying over the school. And you couldn't hear anything because there was this loud plane flying over the school. And after you experience this for, uh, for uh, a few times, eventually you don't even notice that the plane is flying over. And you just stop talking and you wait for the plane to go over the flyover. And then you continue talking. And you do it every 15, 20 minutes or so throughout the day. The teacher would stop talking. The plane would fly over. She'd start talking. And we didn't even know what was happening. If you asked me at the end of the day how many planes were flying over, I wouldn't be able to tell you because we tuned it down. We turned it down. Our brain turned down the volume. And likewise, in our bodies, the same thing happens. If you have a, uh, a, a digestive health condition, if you're constipated or you're bloated or you're gas, and it happens all the time, you may not even notice it, particularly if it's been happening all your life. You may not even think it's a problem. But rest assured, if you have a chronic degenerative disease of any kind underlying, you will find a digestive condition. And depending on the severity of your disease, you're going to have a more or less dramatic digestive problem. If you have severe illness, it'll be blatant. If not so severe, it may not be so blatant. Then there's the blood sugar connection. All chronic degenerative diseases have a blood sugar connection. Whether or not you've been diagnosed as a diabetic, it doesn't matter. The diagnosis for diabetes is arbitrary. There's no definitive way of knowing, yay, you're a diabetic, nay, you're not. They just come up with an arbitrary number that it seems like is, is associated. And they have to have this kind of cutoff point so they can dose you, so they can drug you, so they can put you in the computer, so they can classify you. But it has nothing to do with your health. So you just go to the doctor, he says, well, you're not a diabetic, your blood sugar's fine. How does he know that? Because he's looking at the statistics, he's looking at the metrics, he's looking at the reference ranges. He's not even looking at it, the computer's telling him. But the fact of the matter is, is our blood sugar gets messed up in this country and the way we eat in our culture pretty much from the day we're born. At least from the day we're weaned and the day we start eating. And if you have a chronic degenerative disease, like you have a digestive health condition, rest assured, dysglycemia or messed up blood sugar, which is a more appropriate way of, of calling, uh, uh, of referring to so-called diabetes or pre-diabetes. Now they have another term, pre-diabetes, which is if you're a little bit less than the 120 milligrams per deciliter cutoff point. If you're at 119, you're pre-diabetic. If you're at 118, you're fine. Pretty much anything that go, can go wrong in the body has a connection to whacked out blood sugar and a digestive condition. The third element is the adrenal glands and the thyroid. The adrenals activate the fight or flight system, which turns on blood, or, or uh, uh, activates or increases blood pressure, I should say, shuts down immunity, shuts down healing, redirects energy from the long-term issues like growth and repair and creativity and fertility and digestion to emergency management kinds of processes, to helping the body get out of a situation. So it shuts down our ability to heal, turns on our ability to get out of a jam. Which is great if you're in a jam, but the problem is we're in a jam 24 seven. So all of these growth and repair systems are shut down 24 seven, or at least they're compromised 24 seven. And like if you have a chronic degenerative disease, just like you can guarantee, be guaranteed you have a digestive condition underneath, a dysglycemic or messed up blood sugar condition underneath, rest assured there's a problem with a, a, a jacked up adrenal gland and hypo or low thyroid function. Dr. Broda Barnes, who's a, who was an endocrinologist back in the 50s and 60s, wrote a bunch of books on this. He wrote one called uh, Solved, The Riddle of Heart Attacks, Hope for Hypoglycemia, and of course he calls it thyroid disease and he's right it all involves the thyroid all right i'm pharmacist ben you are listening to the bright side 844-236-6010 is our number this is your common sense health and nutrition program we'll be back at you with more good health information right after this break don't go away On 
the Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll get your calls at the bottom of the hour, as we always do on the Bright Side. Try to call in early so we can get to as many calls as possible. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about the longevity products or the longevity business, we're here for you. 844-236-6010. Likewise, if you have questions about the uh, True Skin Health products, truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com, or retinol 5% gel, or True Serum, Truth Balm, Truth Omega 6 Healing Cream, or Truth 5% retinol gel. They're all up at truthtreatments.com. We also have a skin, skin health blog at truthtreatments.com. Also, want to encourage you to check out uh, brightsidehealth.com. have a couple new products up there that we'll be talking about in the coming days. You can get uh, various probiotic formulations and digestive enzyme formulations, as well as our bone broth protein. And Burger Max for liver health issues and blood sugar issues. And also, I've uh, got uh, coconut powder, coconut protein, up and what else do I have? Bright side. Oh, my uh, uh, pure health, pure uh, hemp botanicals CBD tincture, which so many folks are using now for cancer and pain relief and anxiety issues. CBD is amazing stuff. Cannabidiol. It's an extract of the marijuana plant. You can find out about that at brightsidehealth.com. Brightsidehealth.com. Okay, so the unifying factors underlying all health challenges, if we understand the unifying factors of, uh, of the disease process, it will make it so much easier to deal with health. The digestive system, the blood sugar system, the adrenal, what I call the adrenal thyroid complex, they're kind of like one axis as, adrenal, as the adrenals, uh, adrenal glands crank out adrenal hormones to help us deal with stress over the course of time. The thyroid will slow down. This causes a condition called hypothyroidism, which I consider to be the jumping off point to all disease. Dr. Broda Barnes, who's an endocrinologist in the, uh, he wrote, he, he was working in the 40s and 50s and 60s. He wrote a couple very important books uh, about the thyroid and about the link of hypothyroidism to the disease process. One called Solved, the Riddle of Heart Disease or the Riddle of Heart Attacks. Uh, he wrote another one called, um, uh, what was the other one called? Hypothyroidism, the unsuspected illness. And he talks about low thyroid function as the cause of low energy and fatigue, and, uh, chronic headaches, chronic infections, skin diseases, circulatory problems, lung disease, cancer, emotional problems, mental health problems, pretty much everything that can go wrong. He associated with hypothyroidism, and he was right. But the problem is you can't address the issue by working on the thyroid. There's a lot of well-meaning phys uh, physicians and, and naturopaths and chiropractors and alternative practitioners who recognize the link of th the thyroid to the disease process, but then they go and think, uh, try to tell you how to treat the thyroid. You can't treat the thyroid unless you're treating the digestive system and the blood sugar system and the adrenal glands because these all substand thyroid disease. That's a problem with iodine. Everybody wants iodine and seaweed, which has iodine in it. And iodine is important, by the way. But it's not like it's a remedy for th hypothyroidism. That's why people take iodine and they don't get better. And Synthroid is one of the dumbest. Well, I don't want to say one of the dumbest because there's probably dumber medications. But it's still a stupid way to treat the thyroid. Now, I know probably thousands of you guys listening are on Synthroid now. It's one of the most popular. It's like the fourth or fifth most prescribed drug in the country, which is saying something. It's because everybody's hypothyroid, and it, hardly anybody gets benefits, perhaps in the short run, because it kind of amps things up for a little bit. So sometimes people get benefit in the short run. But sure enough, they're back in the pharmacy raising the dose. Because you can't treat the thyroid unless you treat the underlying condition. And this is where very well-meaning physicians and chiropractors and alternative practitioners go, go astray. They recognize the link of the thyroid, but they don't recognize the fact that thyroid disease itself is almost always secondary to other problems. And this is where understanding the, uh, the, the, the substanding challenges underneath the obvious ones become so important. Breaking things down. If we understand how all of this stuff is composed, if we understand the features that all disease have in common, we'll be able to get to the underlying causes. Find and address the common points. And whether or not your health challenge is cured, to use the magic word, cure is a magic word, I like reversal, that's the scientific word. Whether or not your disease is reversed or whether it's cured, if you follow the protocols that address the, the blood sugar system, the digestive system, the adrenal glands, if you follow the protocols that we talk about on this program every day, whether or not you're cured, I'm doing little air quotes here, cured, 
you are going to feel better. You're going to feel stronger. I can guarantee you this with 100% certainty. Whether or not the doctor pr pronounces you, decrees you as cured, you're going to feel better. You're going to be stronger. You're going to be more vital. You're going to be more alive. And at the end of the day, isn't this what we all want? Curing is the booby prize. If you're cured, but you feel crappy, and you're in pain, and you have no energy, is that a solution? No. But if you feel awesome, if you feel excited to be alive with a surplus of energy and liveliness and vitality and enthusiasm and joy, who cares about your diagnosis? Who cares what the doctor says? And everything we talk about here on the Bright Side is about this vitality and energy and amping up the dynamic and electrical nature of the body. Let the doctors have their cures. Let them have their magic. Let them have their, their miracle pills and their drugs. We're going to get you joie de vivre. We're going to get you energy. We're going to get you pain-free or at least pain-reduced. This notion, by the way, of deconstruction, of taking things back to their basic, uh, basic building blocks is, is, is really part of an idea called simplexity. Simplexity is a cross between simplicity and complexity. And complexity or simplexity, simplexity can be defined as the tendency of a system, the tendency of a, of, of a basic simple system to generate complex forms. It comes from something called systems theory, which is a branch of physics, which is only about 60 years old, started in the 1940s, post-World War II, right around World War II. And uh, this idea of systems theory is behind the nature of all systems. A system is a unified whole. It's made up of a bunch of parts but it functions as a unified whole. The body is such a system. The body is a system. This is why you can't poison part of the body. You can't remove a part of the body. You can't radiate or electrocute a part of the body and be better for it. This is why nobody should have organs removed unless it's, they're so cancerous or, or, or so uh, uh, contaminated and adulterated and broken down that they're messing up the rest of the system. If you can't do anything to fix that part, then maybe you have to remove it. But this is rare. Certainly, we don't need to have half a million thyroids removed every year or half a million gallbladders removed every year. Or God knows how many uteruses and breasts removed every year from people's bodies. The body is a system. You can't remove parts. Systems theory is a very recent uh, scientific field. Medicine is hundreds of years old. The medical model is from the Enlightenment, from, from the Renaissance, from the 15th and, and the 14th century, from the 16th, uh, probably this late, late, I think it's began 1490s or somewhere in there. And that's when the medical model began, for the most part. System theory is 60 years old. The medical model of cutting out parts is hundreds of years old. Systems don't die easily. The medical model is not going away easily. Another key element, which we've been talking about here for months and we'll continue talking about when it comes to the disease process, is the connective tissue. This connective tissue system underlies and forms the basis of everything in the body. It unifies and connects everything in the body. All the organs, all the tissues, all the glands, all the cells are coordinated into one homogenous, unique whole that is, by the way, so unique, it's like a snowflake. Every human body is like a fingerprint or like a snowflake. That's how unique it is. We are coordinated into this unique, special, incredibly complicated whole via the unifying nature of the connective tissue. So it makes perfect sense that underneath disease, you're going to find a connective tissue problem. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back after. We are back on the bright side. I'm pharmacist Benny. Four four two three six sixty ten is our number. Got some lines open for you. Eight four four two three six sixty ten. If you have questions about anything we're speaking here today about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. And we do have some lines open. Eight four four two three six sixty ten. Hang on, we'll get to you in just a moment if you're on hold. A couple of good stories here, or interesting stories. From Science Translational Medicine, a study published February 8th, excessive antibiotic use in newborns can permanently damage lung defenses. I am still amazed that we have a problem with excessive antibiotic use. What are doctors thinking? Antibiotics are a serious problem. They are a drug like anything else and are our antibiotic resistance crisis, which was predicted decades ago. I had a pharmacy school professor in the 1980s tell, uh, tell us about it. 
the antibiotic resistance crisis is a direct result of overuse of antibiotics. You don't want to take an antibiotic unless you absolutely need to. Yet we now have excessive antibiotic use in newborns, in newborns now causing permanent damage in uh, uh, permanent damage to the lungs. This should become as no surprise. The lungs are dependent on good bacteria as much as anything else in the body is. The good bacteria in the body, which we only really started to understand about 20, 25 years ago, their importance and their health relevance, are killed by the antibiotics as much as the bad bacteria are. According to this article from a Cincinnati Children's Hospital, uh, hospital medical center. Nearly every C-section in the United States involves providing involves prescribing antibiotics to mothers shortly before delivery. Up to 30% of newborns in intensive care units also get antibiotics. That's a lot of antibiotics, folks, and it's almost impossible not to have an impact on that baby for the rest of that baby's life. Be very, very respect, be respectful of all drugs, but especially antibiotics. Stroke factors centered in southeastern United States. That's kind of interesting. This is from the journal Cardi uh, Circulation, Cardiovascular Quality and Outcomes. The southeastern United States features the highest concentration of people living with stroke risk factors like high blood pressure, diabetes, and smoking, as well as obesity. Not sure why that would be, but it seems to me that a good, uh, a, a good guess could be has something to do with how we're eating or how people are eating in the southeastern United States. Lots of fried food, lots of fried fats, and that really is, when it comes to dietary, uh, the dietary choices we make, we all love fats. We're, we need fats. We're addicted to fats. The human brain evolved to look for fat and to thrive on fat, but we need good fat. If we have access to fried fats and we don't have access to good, healthy fats, we're going to go for the fried fats every time. What does that tell you? Well, if you want to wean yourself off of fried fats, if you want to wean yourself off of the fried chicken and the, and the uh, fried whatever, uh, French fried potatoes and fried cheese and fried Twinkies and all the ways we eat fried foods, eat more fat. Eat more coconut oil. Eat more butter. Make sure you're getting your essential fatty acids on a regular basis. The best way to wean yourself off of a fat addiction or off of fats and get away from being addicted to fats is to make sure you're giving yourself good fats. And while you're at it, make sure you're using your fat digesting enzymes, like the ultimate enzymes from longevity. Make sure you're using your probiotics, good bacteria, which are very important for fat metabolism. And make sure you're getting your fatty vitamins, which are your growth and repair and thriving vitamins, vitamins D, E, A, and K, the DEEK vitamins. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to Minnesota. Good morning, Gary. What's up, buddy? How are you? Hey, what's going on, man? Uh, okay, two-part question. When you were giving me the answer on the glaucoma, um, the, the, my phone cut off, so I didn't get the, the end answer. Oh, then. I remember. You cut off yesterday. Second glaucoma. Okay. Go I, ahead. I, I'm I sorry. Go. I, I just come in off of five-day fast. And uh, I quit at four and a half. I normally do three and a half. That's awesome. I felt That's still great, great. All the way, lifting weights, and I, you know, it just felt wonderful. I only hang, do little green things. Ha hang on, Gary. Uh, Gary, hang on a second, okay? Gary, hang on a second. So you're telling me you fasted, and while you were fasting, you had the energy to lift weights. Oh, I felt great. Isn't that awesome? Now, do you know how amazing that is? You've been listening to this program, I take it, for a while, so that doesn't sound that amazing to you because you hear it all the time. But do you know how that amazing that would be that you said that to 90% of the population, to 90% of people out there, if you told them I fasted for three days and I was lifting weights, they would tell you, no, that's impossible. I, well, I feel tired. I tell you, when, when, you're, when you have a clean diet like you profess, you actually get in a zone where you're just full of energy and you're euphoric, and you could eat, but you could care less if you don't eat. It's a Isn't that amazing? I it's, call it the zone. That's, that's amazing, Gary. What you just said, please don't take that for granted. That, is, that may be the most powerful piece of advice you could ever hear in terms of health, the, the last 10 seconds of what you said. Well, you have oh. more energy when you eat clean. You feel like you're eating less when you eat less. You, have, uh, you can go out and lift weights, and you're in, as you call it. And I, I like how you said that, the zone. You have a sense of euphoria. The a zone, sense of you've got no, you're, you're not bloated. You're energetic. You can sit down and eat and enjoy it, but then you don't care if you eat. That's it's awesome. A, it's amazing. It's, that's the zone. I hope, I, hope people are listening. I hope people are listening hard to what you just said. All right, so how else can I help you, Gary? What's going on? Oh. Here's what happened. I normally do a three and a half day fast. You know, I'm going to be 70 years old. I normally do a three and a half. I stretched it this time. 
because I want to get the Glock, the pressure down. But anyways, I stretched it to four and a half days. When I woke up this morning, my body said, you're done with this fast. I felt a little off. I took my blood sugar on my home monitor, and I was 52. I thought I that was pretty low. So I went and ate. I ate some real healthy foods, a smoothie, avocado. I had some raw honey. I did a lot of cutting things. How are you I feeling? Felt, How are you feeling? I feel great right now. I'm back again. I just recovered. And then I had... Uh, uh, okay, well, I, that's what I did. And then I, I checked it again, and uh, about two hours later, and it was 100. All right, so you're good. So here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. You're diagnosed with glaucoma, but you feel great. So don't worry I, so much. I, don't, I, don't, don't worry about so much about the diagnosis. Here's what we Dan, want, and I don't, I don't know if they... Go ahead. And I don't accept the diagnosis. Good. I have 20 vision, healthy good. optic good. cornea. I'm unbelievable. That's just a... I got a number. That's awesome. How many 70-year-old, uh, Gary, how many 70-year-olds are out there lifting weights, do you think? Like maybe one. Uh, uh, all right. Now, there's not a lot of them. How many 70-year-olds are fasting and then lifting weights and then are in the zone the way you're describing? Very rare. You're doing great, oh, yeah. buddy. Now, Thank the you. blood, I wouldn't worry about the diagnosis, but if they say that the pressure is building up in the eye, that's telling oh. me that there's, that, hang on, let me finish oh, real quick. I'm let the, me, Luma, the Luma guy and it's working. It took the eye pressure down and I, right. no, I feel nothing bad from it, but I want to get off it. I would be considering... Uh, one, one last uh, thing and then I'm going to shut up. I got okay. an appointment on uh, coming up here on March 7th. And I'd love to knock that pressure down. Maybe you got a game plan for me. Yeah. I'm the about passing and getting my weight down. Now I'm going to shut up. Okay. When was the last time you had your blood, the eye pressure checked? Uh, it went from 44 to 29. I, uh, it was maybe five, six weeks ago. You're doing great. You're doing great. You may not even need the Lumagen as far. You, you may, it just may be the strategies, your health strategies that are dropping the pressure. So you're doing great. Stay the course. If you want to so do a few scary, more. If you want, what's scary, if you, you know, if that pressure comes up on you, I know. you, know, you lose You want to be careful. No, you want to be careful with us. I'm saying you want to pay attention to this, but you're, you may be, everything you're doing may be taking care of the problem. I would be staying the course and focusing more on the blood sugar. Start using blood sugar nutrients if you're not, uh, blood sugar controlling nutrients if you're not already, and there is a slew of them, and I'll tell you some, I'll give you some strategies when we come back from our break, okay? Don't go away. I'm going to hang on, I'll hang yeah, on. Yeah, hang on, Gary. Hang on, don't go Thanks. away. I love it, Tim. All right, man. Thank you so much. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number, got lines open. Did you? All right, Pharmacist this is Ben here, 844-236-6010 is our number. You are listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive pages, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and uh, I'm sorry, on benfuchsarchives.com and brightsideben.com. You can check out our longevity products at pharmacistben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, and brightsideben.com. We're talking to Gary in Minnesota. We do have a couple lines open, 844-236-6010. Gary, I'm going to go a little quickly here. I hope you got a pen. And if you don't, check. Here. Okay, good. Uh, you can also check out the archive page if you want to review everything I'm going, to tell you. I'm going to tell you here. Focus on blood sugar. The fact that your weight is up a little bit, that tells me there's some blood sugar issues. Uh, glaucoma, which is caused by defects or breakdowns or degeneration of the valve that lets the pressure out of the eye, are almost always linked to dysglycemia or messed up blood sugar, whether or not you're diagnosed as a diabetic. So that's the first thing I would do. Use the Sweeties from longevity uh, daily especially after meals make sure you're using the ultimate niacin maybe once or twice a day uh, ultimate selenium again uh, maybe uh, 400 micrograms a day uh, and then all the B vitamins and you'll get those in the beyond tangy tangerine you may want to try the fucoid Z drink generous amounts of water especially first thing in the morning and especially after meals and extra especially after meals that tend to spike your blood sugar and throughout the day also water dilutes the blood sugar. Make sure you're using fiber uh, once or twice a day. It'd be great if you could use fiber before your meals, and that will help sop up the excess sugar or sop up any excess sugar so it's not stored and doesn't throw off your blood, blood sugar. 
Uh, and you, the best way to do that is by grinding up flax seeds and, um, and just eat, putting them in water and drinking them down or mixing them in a little almond milk and making unsweetened, of course, and making a little uh, flax seed pudding. You can also use vegetable juices at the beginning of the meals. Now, if you have any digestive conditions, those need to be addressed, particularly probiotics and uh, taking care of bacteria in the gut, which play a major, major role and unappreciated role when it comes to helping blood sugar. I'd be using the nightly essence on a daily basis, maybe a uh, hundred billion or 80 to hundred billion units a day. Focus on your blood sugar. And if you have any digestive health conditions, you want to address those. That's where the problem is. It's not in the eyes. That's the most important point. It's not in the eyes. That's the, pro that's where you see the problem, but that's not where the problem, uh, that's not the cause, the direct cause of your health challenge. I'm going to move on, Gary. I hope I helped you, buddy. And congratulations. It sounds like you're doing great. I hope I'm like that when I'm 70 years old. I hope, I hope I'm lifting weights when I'm 70 years old. All right, man. Thank you very much, Ben. Take care, bro. Have a good day. All right. Uh, Cam in Austin, good morning. Welcome to the Bright Side. Hey, Ben. Cam. How are you? I am awesome. How you doing? Good, good. Uh, my wife just got slapped with a tag of osteoporosis, so I'm trying to uh, You want to deal with that? Yes. All right. She's breaking yes. down. That's as simple as yep. that. It's not a disease. They want it to be a disease so they can put you in the computer and give you the drugs and and classify right. you because doctors love to classify and the government loves to classify and insurance companies love to classify and they put us in the computer and they could tell us what to do based on the computer and the algorithm but you're a human being and your wife is a human being all this happening is she's breaking down she's degenerating so she has to do all the things we all have to do do to build up remember the body is only doing is either net anabolic or net catabolic it's either breaking down net or building up net. It's like a business. The body is either in the red or in the black. At the, when it comes to your business, are you in a business by any chance? Are you, do you have a business? Are you a business person? Yes. yes. Okay, yes. perfect. What is your business? Uh, it's uh, IT information technology. Okay, good. Yep. But it's your business. Yep. You're the guy looking yes. at the books. Okay, it's here. So in your business, yep. when you have a business, you're spending money every day, right? And you're making money every day. And it doesn't matter how much you're spending, and it doesn't matter how much you're making. What matters is the bottom line. Line, correct. correct. If you're if you're spending a million dollars, but you're but you're pro, you're you're selling two million dollars worth of product, that's a great bottom line. Great but if you're right, so what you want to <laughs> yeah. what you want to do is the you look at the bottom line. And the body's the same way. The body's always breaking down. The bones are always breaking down. But the bones are also always building up. And this is how the body works. It's always breaking down and building up. And what you want to be is net building up. You want to be net in the black. You want the, the bottom line to be in the black. Your wife's bottom line is in the red. When we're in disease state, whether it's osteoporosis or glaucoma or whatever it is, autoimmunity or cancer, we're net catabolic. We're net breakdown. So what you got to do is reverse that. How do you reverse that? It's everything we talk about here on this program. For one thing, you remove anything that slows down the healing and growth and regenerative process. The bones are always building, but sugar will slow down the building process. Digestive toxicity will slow down the building process. Inflammation will slow down the building process. So anything that's causing digestive distress, number one, and that means problem foods, of course, has to be eliminated. And yet, then you want to patch up the gut to make sure you're absorbing your nutrients. Probiotics, digestive enzymes, you get the ultimate enzymes from longevity, use the ultimate nightly essence from longevity, make sure uh, that, you're, uh, that she's absorbing fats. As women get older, they don't absorb their fats as well. Fats are incredibly important for bone building or for any building. So make sure she uh, doesn't have any fat malabsorption issues. If she does, you can correct those with bile salts, apple cider vinegar with meals, lecithin, and then uh, breaking up or grinding up her fats can help as well. Uh, keeping her blood sugar stable is also important. All the things we talked about just with our last caller, Gary, that is, those are things you might want to consider. Then there's the building, and also if she has any adrenal stress, any psychological stress or mental stress or psych, you know, spiritual kinds of stress issues or whatever, the, uh, the, the more amorphous, intangible kinds of things, those will have a negative, effect, a negative effect on building as much as sugar or digestive toxins will. So those need to be addressed too. Slow, deep breathing also can help. Then there's the nutrients, and there's a lot of them. Protein probably is the most important. If she has malabsorption issues, she may not be getting her protein well. Use bone broth protein. Use whey protein. Those are the two most important building proteins. Whey and also eggs. 
eggs, whey protein, and bone broth protein. Anything that's got cartilage in it, chicken, uh, uh, chicken soup, uh, the, the cartilage from the, on the ends of chicken bones are very helpful for bone building. You cannot build connective tissue without vitamin C. You cannot build bone without vitamin C. It's very likely that osteoporosis is related to vitamin C deficiency, considering most of us don't get anywhere near the vitamin C we need, and without vitamin C, you can't make bone. So make sure she's using vitamin C in her Beyond Tangy Tangerine. The same is true about essential... What's a good rule of thumb for vitamin C in terms of... 1,000 to 5,000 to 10,000 milligrams. There's no real way to know, but as much as you can take. The more you can take, the better. There are people who take 50,000 milligrams right in their blood vessels. It's completely 100% non-toxic. If you take too much all at once, you may get some bloating or discomfort. She may get bloating or discomfort or loose stools, and you don't want to go there. So so that's called uh, dosing yourself to what's called bowel tolerance is the best way to do it. Take as much as you can take without causing uh, digestive distress. Then uh, essential fatty acids, just like you can't build bone or you can't really build any tissue without vitamin C. The same is true about essential fatty acids. And keep in mind, as we get older, we don't absorb our EFA. So just like she's likely to be deficient in vitamins A and D, uh, critically important for bone health and vitamin K, uh, she very well may be deficient in essential fatty acids. Get her on the ultimate EFAs ASAP, as soon as possible. And then, of course, your minerals are important. Calcium is important, but it's not as important as we're led to believe because we get lots of calcium, magnesium, selenium zinc 50 milligrams a day very very important and don't forget sulfur you can't make tissue hard without sulfur you can't make bones uh, bone hard bones hard without sulfur sulfur and you can't make connective tissue anywhere including the skin by the way for folks dealing with wrinkles osteoporosis by the way are wrinkles of the of the bone they're the same, it's the same phenomena, and she very likely is, is dealing with wrinkles, too. So uh, all the strategies that I just gave you are going to have beauty and skin benefits also. All right, I hope that helps, Gary. I want to get one more call in before we go to break, okay? Thank you. Thank you, buddy. Have a, have a great day. All right, Stuart, you get the last word. Stuart in Colorado, good morning. Uh, good morning, Ben. Thank you for all you do for us. Uh, sure, really thank you. appreciate it. Thank you for uh, listening. So I work with the mentally disabled. I'm a pre-vocational trainer, so I'm trying to get them an independent and, uh, you know, job, right, to just be able to uh, nice. function in the real world and everything. And all this research I read that says a lot of these, uh, that nutrition from uh, drugs in almost every category, uh, especially in mental health, and they're looking at a 20% improvement and nice. IQ and, and nice. functionality and, you know, lack of symptoms and all this stuff. Nice. If I could bring 20% just improvement in life to these clients, you know, and anger issues and stuff like that. But, of course, our doctors <laughs> who are paid on Medicare, uh, Medicaid, I mean, uh, you know, they don't even ask them how much soda they drink. They, you know, that's crazy. That's so crazy. Do I about you don't. You, you, oh, getting me to speak. Uh, they're not going to want to hear from me. I'm happy to... We're a private company, and, uh, you know, our the owners of the company actually took school and stuff in a lot of these areas, and it's kind of excited Stuart, about it. But yeah, the Stuart, I'm out of time, buddy, but if you send me an email, ben at ksco.com, you're in Denver, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy. Everywhere. I'm happy to do it. I'd be honored. I'd be honored. So give me a, shoot right. me an email. Put your phone number there, and we'll talk on the phone. Okay. And thanks right, for your good work it. too, Stuart. That's awesome that you're yeah. doing that. All right, man. Take good care. Out. Have a have a good day, buddy. All right, that's all the time we have for today on the bright side. Thanks for listening. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Check out my website, TruthTreatments.com, if you're interested in our Retinol 5% Gel or any of our Truth Skin Health products. And of course, if you want to join the Bright Side Ben team, call 866-735-2470. Tell me you want to join the team for a one-time $25 fee. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have a wonderful, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye. For now. Oh.